Okay, hi. So in this video, we're going to speak a bit about electrical energy. So we spoke in the last video about electrical power, but now we need to quantify how much energy we're going to use. Because it's all well and good having a really powerful appliance, which is going to use loads of energy. But if you only use it for five seconds, then that's fine. Whereas if you have a lot of appliances running for a long time, that's when the electricity bills start to go up and up. And so what we need to realize straight away is that energy... So the amount of energy that you are using in an appliance, that depends on the power of the appliance, power of the appliance, and the length of time. So the length of time that you are actually using that appliance for. So that makes sense, as I just said, with the analogy that if you use something for five seconds, you're not going to use a whole lot of energy. But if you use it for ages, then you probably are. Right, so it makes sense that the amount of energy is equal to the amount of energy that you use every second. And that is the power. Because remember, power is joules per second. So the amount you use every second multiplied by the amount of seconds and that is time now it's not only going to be in watts and in seconds but it's a good place to start for example let's say I had a 3 watt light bulb okay a 3 watt bulb and I had that on so on for let's say one hour how much energy have I supplied to that bulb well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do energy is equal to the power of the bulb, which is 3. And that is going to be multiplied by, remember, watts is in joules per second. So this has to be in seconds. Well, one hour, let's do that in a different color so you can see. One hour, that's the same as 60 seconds in a minute times by 60 minutes in an hour. So one hour is 3,600 seconds. So it's going to be 3 times by 3,600. 3,600. And that is going to give me, well, 9,000 and then 1,800. So 10,800 joules. Okay. And that's because we've got joules per second here. And then we've times that by seconds. So the seconds here cancel out and we just get joules. We knew we were going to get joules because we're talking about energy. Now, if you remember, also, I could call that 10.8 kilojoules. Because remember, a kilojoule is 1,000 joules. So these two things are the same, 10,800 or 10.8. Now, you'll notice that these numbers are going to get very large very quickly because we're just talking about a light bulb here for an hour, and we've already got 10,800. So we need to use a slightly more manageable uh, unit of measurement. And what that is is known as a kilowatt hour. Let's use a different color here. A kilo kilowatt hour. And this is abbreviated to K W H. So capital W, lowercase K and lowercase H. Now importantly, and this is extremely important, a lot of people get this confused, a kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. So a unit of energy. It's not a unit of power. Because remember, watts are units of power, but a kilowatt hour is a unit of energy. So we can convert joules into kilowatt hours, not watts. Okay? Now this is meant to have a little dash here, but that's the same thing. Kilowatt hours. And what a kilowatt hour is, is the amount of energy that a one kilowatt appliance uses in one hour one hour okay and this will obviously um, give us an answer in joules we could have this in joules so let's actually work that out well if I had an appliance which used one kilowatt it had a power rating of one kilowatt and I was using it for one hour Remember, one hour, again, is 60 times 60, 60 minutes times 60 seconds, which equals 3,600 seconds. So in joules, energy is equal to power, and this is one kilowatt, which is 1,000 watts. 
So 1000 watts multiplied by time, which is 3600. And this will give us a final answer of 3,600,000 joules. So 3,600,000 joules, that is exactly the same as one kilowatt hour. That is what a kilowatt hour is. It is exactly 3,600,000 joules. And that is the amount of energy used by one kilowatt appliance in one hour. And that's really useful because with um, energy intensive appliances, let's say, for example, we've got an engine. Okay, an engine with a power rating of two kilowatts. Two kilowatts. What I can do is I can tell you, well, how much energy is that using in, uh, let's say, two hours? Or 120 minutes. I can take our energy equals power times time equation and I can just make these the units that we're working in. So energy instead of um, joules I'm going to quote energy straight in kilowatt hours. Power I'm not going to do in watts I'm going to do in kilowatts and therefore the time has to be in hours because kilowatt hour equals kilowatt times hour. Okay, so energy here is equal to, well, our power rating for this engine is 2 kilowatts, so we just need the answer 2, because we're using kilowatts, we don't have to times that by 1,000, and this is going to be times by our time, and we don't need to make that minutes, or seconds, sorry, because we're using hours, so that is going to just be 2 hours, and so the amount of energy we're going to use is 2 times 2, which equals 4 kilowatt hours. Now, I could convert that to joules if I wanted to because I know that every kilowatt hour is this many joules, 3,600,000, so I could just times that by 4. But because the question hasn't asked for it in joules, I'm happy leaving it as this. That engine is going to use 4 kilowatt hours if we use it for 2 hours. And this is great because a lot of the time our energy bills are given in kilowatt hours. So let's say, for example, do a different color. For example, one kilowatt hour, that's a capital, is charged at 12 pence. So that's how much it costs for 12, uh, sorry, 12 pence is how much it costs for one kilowatt hour worth of energy. Now let's say I had a fridge and that had a power rating of 500 watts. And I was going to use that for one day. How much is it going to cost me to use this fridge? Well, pause the video now and see if you can have a go. Okay, right. So I hope you had a go. Basically, what we're going to do is we're going to work in kilowatt hours. So we're going to say the amount of energy is equal to power times time. Our power is 500 watts, but in kilowatts, therefore, that's 0 0.5 because that's half of a thousand. Okay, and we're timesing that by our time, and we, we're told it's one day. One day is how many hours? 24 hours. And so that gives us a total energy of 12 uh, kilowatt hours. Okay, so I've worked it out directly in kilowatt hours. Now, our price, or our cost, that is equal to the number of kilowatt hours, so number of kilowatt hours times by cost of one kilowatt hour. So the number of kilowatt hours times by the cost of one kilowatt hour. And now the number of kilowatt hours we're using here is 12. And we're going to multiply that by the cost, which is 12 pence times by 12 pence. Now 12 times 12 will give us 144. That's 144 pence. And that is the same as saying one pound 44. So this is how much it costs to run the fridge for a day. 
Okay, so I hope that makes sense. It is a topic which a lot of students do struggle with, so please feel free to rewatch the video, rewind, pause whenever you like. Um, but I'm going to wrap up there. Uh, if you do have any questions on that, then please feel free to send me an email using the contact link below or comment in the box and I'll be sure to get back to you. But I look forward to seeing you in the next video.